My name is Alexander Gershinov. I'm a research meteorologist at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. And uh, I study extreme weather and how it's related to climate variability and climate change. Sand and winds are the breaths of the desert. They start in the Great Basin of the Southwest, an elevated basin at 1,200 meters on average, but it's surrounded by high mountains. And uh, cool air masses collect in that basin in the wintertime. And when the pressure patterns line up to push those winds coastward, they basically spill over the topography, through the gaps in the topography, and they encounter warmer air on the other side of the mountains. So that cooler air that's been sitting over the Great Basin is denser, heavier, and it accelerates down the slopes of the, of the topography until it makes it down to the sea level. And by the time it makes it to sea level, it's about 10 degrees C warmer than uh, what it started at. San Ana winds differ from other winds in that they occur under clear blue skies. There's no precipitation, no lightning uh, associated with Santa Ana winds. Uh, they're a wintertime phenomenon and uh, they are dry, gusty, often warm, but they can be cold as well. The other way in which Santa Ana's differ from other winds is that they blow the hardest on the west and southwest facing slopes of the coastal topography. Other winds blow hard on the opposite slopes. We're at the beginning of uh, uh, Santa Ana wind event number four this month. Um, on average, there are about four to five Santa Ana winds in January about five in December. So December and January is really the peak season for Santa Ana winds. Um, we are likely to get uh, two or three Santa Ana wind events before we get the first rains of winter. Really this wildfire season is so unprecedented mainly because of how late the winter rains are. 